It's me, your old friend Dale Howard. Today I would like to share a couple of tricks with you that I personally like to use when I'm setting task dependencies in Microsoft Project. So let me show you the situation I have in this project that is in the planning stage. Currently I have two tasks. We're going to develop a Microsoft Project app for Office 365 and then we're going to start writing the documentation on this. Now the relationship I'm looking for is this. We're going to start developing the app when we're 80 percent done we will start writing the documentation for the app. Let me say that again. We're going to start developing the app when we're 80 percent done we're going to start writing the documentation. Did you hear me repeat the word start? The develop the uh, relationship I'm looking for here is start to start. That's the basic relationship. There's more to it than that. So I want to show you my favorite way of setting task dependencies, including how to do start to start, finish to finish, and start to finish. The same technique will work in all three situations. So the first thing I'll do is I'll select these two tasks and link them. Now here's the trick ladies and gentlemen. Although I know there are multiple different ways to create a start to start dependency, all of which work, and I have no argument with that, I want to show you my favorite way. What I like to do is take the tip of my mouse pointer and float it in the arrowhead part of the link line. If I do that and do a double click, Microsoft Project will open the task dependency dialog. In 20 years of using Microsoft Project now professionally, I've never found any other way to display this dialog other than double clicking somewhere on the link line, the thickest part of which is the arrowhead. Now in this dialog, what I like about it is I can choose start to start or any of the dependency types, including breaking the link. I also have the option to enter lag time two different ways. So here comes the second trick. Most people know that you can enter lag time as a time value measured in days, for example. But here's what you may not know. The dependency relationship again is we're going to start developing the app. When we're 80 percent done, we're going to start writing the documentation. What that means is start to start as the basic dependency type, but the lag, I'm going to type the number 80 percent. You can enter lag values as either a time unit, such as days, or as a percentage of the duration of the predecessor task. So when I click OK, ladies and gentlemen, here is the task dependency relationship. The lag amount that we see here is called a calculated lag. It's 80 percent of the duration of the predecessor. In other words, it's an eight-day lag, but it's calculated so that if I were to change the duration of the develop MSP app task, then the lag amount would grow automatically. So ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple more tricks for you. Thanks for watching my video. We'll see you the next time.